Hey, what's up, Dean? It's your performance, and we're back down on the Monte Carlo. I can't see it. Monte Carlo. Joey's Monte Carlo. It's up on the lift right now because we got everything stripped out of it. All the fuel lines are stripped out of it. Um, that one bolt in there was was a pain. You can't really get to it from behind. Um, so I knocked the head of it off. Well, not the head, the back side, the threads, and then just used like a air chisel with a punch and knocked the bolt through that bracket to get it off. But all the fuel lines are out completely. I don't like to ever leave anything in the frames that doesn't need to be there. So um, we pulled that out. I always pull those out and my thought right now is I'm probably going to mount the filter here and have the inlet line run above this just how the factory lines went above this it'll come down with like a 45 come straight out the front and into the pump I might mount the pump right here if if it's not too hard to get in there otherwise somewhere over in in this area um, where there's a little more space and then the regulator might mount up on the firewall but I'm gonna do the feed all the way up to the rails uh, do the crossover come out the back of the rail to the regulator um, and then a return line so it'll have two lines running all the way back uh, as far as the fuel tank, like I said yesterday, I talked to the owner. He was good with, um, replacing it with a new one. So I actually have a buddy that works at a parts store that's not too far from here. And he was able to get the fuel tank in yesterday in the sending unit. Both parts are in yesterday. So we're going to go and pick that up. Um, I just noticed. There's a couple more brackets here. These are kind of the factory brackets, so they're bolted into the bumper and stuff. I'll leave those because this had the straight pipes that came out. But what else I did yesterday was I set the intake on the motor. Um, and then I put the headers on there uh, kind of just to make sure everything fits. I had the accessory bracket on it. So the alternator does fit. I, I, like I said yesterday, I don't really like the look of the alternator up high. But the, those are things that could always be changed down the road. And then I went ahead and pulled the front end off. Because he did choose to do a cam upgrade on this. Um, and we went with what we always go with tick performance so I don't have the cam card in this one but it comes camshaft push rods valve springs I still have to do the valve springs and it comes with all the valve seals retainers locks are all in here everything it's all one kit um, so I got the rockers off. The new push rods are already in. The new cam is already in. Um, and I used the water pump bolts as kind of a handle to slide the old cam out and slide the new cam in. I did the wooden dowels where you, like I'll put two bolts in and turn the cam a bunch to get the lifters up into the buckets. Then you slide two dowels through those holes there those are your oil galley you slide them all the way through and that keeps the lifters from falling down into the bottom of the oil pan and then once I get the front cover back on I got I'm not sure where it is but I had a new cam plate um, I, I'm pretty sure I ordered a cam plate for this knowing that I ordered the cam um, so I need to 
find that or I called again I called my buddy Jeff and he actually uh, has that cam plate in stock now here's something that I didn't see yesterday this little plug right here is supposed to be in the block right there and that got knocked out somehow some way because I can't push it in so this was actually pushed out with the oil pressure on this um, so that 100% that needs to go in if that's not in the motor will not have oil pressure so I need to get that knocked back in before it causes a problem I already have the crank you can't really really see it but I already have the crank dot yeah, you're not gonna be able to see it it's on that tooth right there so it's already pointing up to top dead center um, and then once I get the cam gear back on we'll line that back up and then once I get the cover back on I'll get the front of the block all cleaned up I have new water pump gaskets uh, the ones that were on there were pretty nasty um, and again they just turn an RTV on it which you should never ever need RTV so I'd imagine they reuse the gaskets at one point on this um, and then here's I tend to a lot of times there it is uh, and there's all the old push rods so I don't reuse any of the push rods or nothing like that these cam plates actually on uh, almost every single swap I do well every single swap I do I always replace this cam plate um, they get old and that little rubber seal right there if we were to take a flat edge oh there's all the new gaskets there let's see take a flat edge so this ruler I know is flat um, let me grab a paper towel. Paper towel. Wipe this off. That gasket is what seals this plate. And you, oh, you can almost get this ruler to stand up. But you can see there's no gap in that ruler. It's hard to see it in the camera, but there's no gap. And then when you get the new one, there'll be a gap. Like it'll stand up a little bit because this rubber is actually out of the plate. And right now, like running the finger across, you can't, you could barely feel it. You could feel it's rubber, but it's hard. Um, it's, it's just, they get old, whatever. But these are your oil galleys. Um, and these tend to leak out once they leak out it'll sp pretty much it'll kind of spray the oil and you'll lose oil pressure that way too so every swap I do I, I on my motors that I supply Joey supplied this motor I usually buy new covers um, this one has new seals in the front and rear we looked at it yesterday you can see it's all gooped up along the bottom of the pan um so they did all the seals on this motor not too long ago but never changed that so we're gonna change that um i'll pick that up today i'll get it on there i'll get the front all back together the motor will all be sealed back up i'll change all the valve springs um and once i do that i will update where we're at um i have another project coming today uh, they're actually on their way here right now, so I wanted to make this part and once they get here I'll run and get the fuel tank the sending unit the cam plate I'll come back and I will get to work on the valve springs and stuff. So stay tuned. I'll be right back Okay, so I'm back and I got the new tank 
Car quest number 576351, Dorman 576351. And then uh, sending unit is a quest FG08BCQ. Got the new cam retainer plate. It's a Molly or Mall, however you say it. B32270. And like you can see how the rubber is raised quite a bit. If I can get it to focus. So with with the flat edge on it, you can see the gap that it has kind of. You can see the gap. It's a pretty good gap all the way across. So I got that. And then I got the Torx bits. This is like a bevel head style cover. So these are Torx bit screws. I don't like using those, but I have them. And that's this cover that was available. So I'm going to get it on the motor. And get it torqued down. And then I'll get the cam gear back on lined up. Um... And we'll go from there. So I'll be back again.